there! Today we're going to discuss function pointers in C. So, let's get started. Let me open up this editor and as you can see here I have created this file ex57 underscore func or function pointers dot C. Since uh, pointers can point to an address in any memory location, they can also point to the start of executable code. Pointers to functions or function pointers point to executable code for a function in memory. Function pointers can be stored in an array or passed as an argument to other functions. A function pointer declaration uses the star operator just as you would with any pointer. So here in this example, so a return type and then a star and the function name, then the parameters. So the parentheses around the parentheses around this uh, function name are important. Without them, the compiler will think the function is returning a pointer. After declaring the function pointer, you must assign it to a function. So to better understand this, let me go ahead and provide you an example. So in this example, a short program declares a function. Declares a function pointer, assigns the function pointer to the function and then calls the function through the pointer. So let's go ahead and try running this by compile by right clicking and compiling and run. So as you can see it prints out three hello on the screen since we have provided the arguments a three numbers so a function name points to the start of executable code just as an array name points to its first element therefore although a statement such as fun uh, on this line fun pointer or pun ptr is equal to say hello and star function you can we can actually say so this is the function pointer. Let me put a comment in here. Function pointer. And on this line, I'm going to put a function, a pointer assignment. Pointer assignment. And on this line, on line nine, it is the function call. So here's our function prototype. And here's our here's the function. We initialize we run it three times or whatever number we pass on to this function. In this case we've passed three. So it's going to run over three times and print it and uh, display it on the screen. So your function name's name points to the start of the executable code just as an array name points to its first element. Therefore, although the statements such as, uh, let me just add this real quick, such as fun ptr or pun pointer is equal to address of say hello and pointer fun ptr 3 are correct so we can we can use this or this they are also correct it isn't necessary to include the address operator this one in here the indirection operator and the indirection operator the star in the function assignment and function call so this is just a this is additional information that you need to know. So again, to make sense, to make this all sense uh, for you, a function name points to the start of executable code, and that is a function name is itself a pointer. So declaring a function pointer is, is, is exactly declaring a new name with a great advantage that it's a variable with all its functionalities. So that's it for this video and uh, before we wrap up let's test your knowledge I have here a little exercise for you on this tab 
So I want you to fill in the blanks to declare a function sum returning the sum of its arguments and declare a function pointer p sum pointing to sum. So as you can see there's a lot of missing information in here that needs to be filled in and if you know the answer please put it in the comment section below. Thank you.